So check this out. Wanted to make a track using some frequencies. Looked up some different tunings. Found a little secret. You change from A440 to A444. You half that, you get 222. You half that, you get 111. You double 444, you get 888. So I was like, why not just do 111, 222, 333, 444. Lucky for me, if you use uh, Ableton, go inside of the operator. You switch the, the oscillator to do fixed frequency and you can set the frequencies which you can see me doing here made nine tracks actually make that 10 added 11 11 just to be cool shouts to my buddy and you know we got to name the tracks of course so got to title them up so we know what we're doing here now i'm not no sound healer or nothing i know some people might contest and be like hey but one one one's not perfect and you know you change the tempo to 60 that's not going to work well, you know, I'm going to use my creative license here and change it to 60 BPMs, just like how time is, you know, 60 seconds, 60 minutes, 60 BPM. So group the tracks, let's lower the volumes. And since we're doing 111, why not be cool and make it minus 11.1 so it ain't too loud. And just so you don't think I'm crazy, let me show you where I got this from. If you go online, you search musical notes and frequency, you change tuning from 440 to 444, you get A111. A222, A333, not quite, but close, A444, 528, where is that? Oh my god, so Fedgeal frequency, heal my DNA, 666, quite what? 888, where's the 777? I don't know, but I'm going to use it anyways, so make some uh, notes here, just dial in some MIDI, doesn't really matter where I put it, just make it, you know, somewhat long, and just duplicate it, Command D for Mac, Control D for Apple, wait, Apple is Mac, I mean, windows ha stupid anyways just um i'm gonna add it about 56 times 55.5 that's half of 111 so round it up to 56 that sounds nice to me duplicate duplicate Ooh, that sounds nice together that's one 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 two 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 three two three and you know what i'm gonna add a little gate here stutter it so that we can put it in time and make it like a second so every time you hear it beep it's going to be one second. Remember that our BPM is 60, so just like time, just like a clock. So that's fun. Um, now what? Let's add some 111. No, no, 1111. Let's go down here to the bottom and I'm gonna add a note right about yeah. Give it like a four note count in and then after that these will start that is quite close one eight or eleven eighteen not quite eleven eleven but it'll fit so it'll sound harmonious enough you know it's kind of like you're using different temperaments doesn't have to be exact talk to pythagoras about that one if you want to oh wait you can't because he's dead but you know what that sounds pretty nice I think even Pythagoras would have agreed, you know. Plus, you know, he likes threes too. Pythagoras theorem, you know, Pythagorean theorem with the triangles and stuff. He was a big fan of the threes, liked them two thirds, you know, and he was a big fan of intervals. The interval between all these numbers is 111, 222 minus 111, 333 minus 222, 444 minus 333. Don't worry, I ain't gonna make you do that much math. But check this out, you add the 666. Oh my god, he's a double worshiper. No, but interestingly enough, you divide 2 by 3, you get 0.666666 to the infinity. The infinity. So I'm going to layer out some notes here. Speed this up because it's kind of boring in real time. And I forgot one more note. Guess which note I forgot? The bass. So you add an operator, fixed frequency, 55.5. Oh, another triplet. That's half of 111. Wait a minute. There's our 555. Mmm. Okay. So I'm going to use it to make a bass line. Got to have the bass. Right. Yeah, something like that. Lower the volume here to, you guessed it, minus 11.1. That's kind of bouncy. Put on the 
a beat. I'm gonna shorten these. D, control D. Just gonna duplicate that a few times. And we got ourselves a bass line. Using nothing but frequencies. I don't got no synths. We're not using any pre made notes. Picking the hertz ourselves. Get it? Picking the hertz. He must like pain. He's a masochist. like cool sounds even if they hurts <laughs> so if you notice they all sound pretty good together I don't know it's kind of weird right even when you uh, harmonize them because that that's the goal right to live in harmony because I like menudo you know harmony I'm from, I'm from the border, man. I love menudos. And, and I ain't talking no Ricky Martins, man. M more like Remy Martin. Where you at? Bring him over here. Tell him I need some of that. No, no, no. Actually, you know what I really need? Some of this 528. That actually lands as a perfect C when you tune to 444. And I don't know. I don't know if you've seen the whole hype online about like solfeggio frequencies. I don't really buy it. You know, they say it'll heal your DNA and this and that. Repair damaged cells. I don't know. I don't got no tools to be looking at no cells or nothing. I don't got no electron microscope. But I'll tell you what, if it does heal it, I want it. Let's throw it in. See what it sounds like. Keep it in perfect harmony, bro. Keep it in some, in some perfect, you know, hangover cures. I, I need that. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so I think I found like a good little four bar loop here. And just copy paste it. Duplicate it. And throw it in there. What do you think? I think maybe it's time to add a kick. So, which kick do I use? There's actually this really cool um, Ableton Live tool that I saw Mr. Bill make. And shouts to Mr. Bill, that guy's amazing. He makes a lot of cool stuff. If you guys want to see how he made this rack, um, I'll post the link in the uh, description section. And um, yeah, the cool thing about this kick generator is that you can actually tune it. So that's what we need. We want to tune it to 111, 55.5, one or the other. Make it match the rest of the stuff so that everything is in harmony. And... Um, you know, do like a basic four to the floor kind of a rhythm. Keep it kind of dancey. Even though I can't dance, I got two left knees. Oh man. Let me readjust that real quick. That was way off. Knew it started with an S though. Let's dance tonight. Alright. That's better. Duplicate. And I'm going to just mess with these kick settings real quick. And this is probably where you're going to think I'm crazy. Like, man, he's taking this repeating digit thing a little too far. 1177. 
Why do you need the 4 8? Weird. Mm. Strange. This guy's weird. 1 1. Mm -mm. 6 6 5 5 4 4. Uh, yeah. Probably pretty crazy for doing this. But here's an interesting fact. If you divide any single digit number by 9, for example, 1 divided by 9, you get 0.111111, 2 divided by 9, 0.2222222, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 infinity. And um, we all know how crazy Tesla was about his 9s. If you ask me, there really, really wouldn't be any electronic music or much electronics for yeah for that matter if it wasn't for tesla and I'm, i'll be making a, a little supplementary video after the fact to show you guys why i do this repeating digit thing what's with the whole 111 tesla and the nine sofeggio magic square of the sun all that stuff so be stay tuned for that get it stay tuned Messing around with different tunings. Anyways, yeah, shout out to Nikola Tesla. I wasn't talking about Elon Musk Tesla, by the way. Elon Tusk. I was talking Nikola Tesla. That guy was a genius. And he had an obsession with uh, 369s. Another interesting fact. Um, there's a thing called Pythagoras. Pythagorean number reduction, which means you take any multiple digit number and reduce it back to a single digit. So if you do 111 is 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 222 two two is 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. 333 three is 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. So you get 369, 369, 369, 369. And uh, interesting quote going on around the internet. It says, uh, if you only knew the magnificence of the 369, you would have the secrets of the universe. Quote by Nikola Tesla. Don't know what it means, but I thought that was kind of interesting. 111222333444555666777888999. If you do Pythagorean number reduction using that number system, you get repeating 369, 369, 369, 369, 369, 369. It's almost as if Pythagoras and Nikola Tesla were obsessed with threes and sixes and nines. Well, if I'm gonna listen to anybody when it comes to music, oh, too loud. If I'm gonna listen to anybody when it comes to music and electronics and electronic music, I'm gonna listen to Nikola Tesla and Pythagoras. There's our kick drum. Kickity kick drum. Thank you, Mr. Bill. You are the man. I hold you in high esteem along with Nikola Tesla. Now we gotta stutter this up with uh some stutter edit. Stutter edit. If you've never used stutter edit before, this is like an amazing plugin. I love this plugin. It's for like the lazy glitchers, you know? You just like you use it as a MIDI control effect. Hit some notes. It starts stuttering and glitching your your stuff. Just like that. So I'll I'll add some of that stuff for right now. But first we need a little bit more like a background noise. And there, there's this really cool like monks chanting ohm kind of the synth sound the side of atmosphere i think it's like it's not ohm i think it's like monk monk something monkey i don't know ah monk coder you know it started with an m though that was close yeah there you go and of course we gotta make sure it is tuned so we gotta go to our system and tune it 444 yay so yeah, I want to throw in some ohm chants in there real quick. 
not your electrical resistance, um, more like um, um, a u m, um, um, and um, I think it's gonna sound kind of nice. A little bit loud. Let me turn it down. You guessed it. Minus eleven point one. God, this guy is triplets. Stay tuned for part two. Be coming up with that soon. Stay tuned, y'all.